So I, uh, guys, this is my 1995 Lincoln Town Car Signature Series, and I'm doing a video on how to program your keyless entry remote. Now I've read on a few different forums on different ways to do this. Some people say you can cycle the ignition, and we will show that method being tried. And then the rest of them say you need to use your keypad entry on the outside. However, the, num the numerical code that they give me to punch in doesn't work. Now we're gonna start off with, I have gotten this remote to program, but we're gonna use the keypads and we're gonna pop the trunk. So if you don't know your door key code, on the right arm on your rear trunk is your number. Mine is 60759. I don't care who knows it either, that's fine. Over here, you're gonna put that code in, that is six, zero, seven, five, and nine. You'll hear a small actuator go. These two buttons, when pressed together, will lock all four of your doors. Now we're gonna do six, zero, seven, five, nine. Again, your driver door unlocks. You press three, four after that, and your other three doors will unlock. And then five and six will actuate the trunk when not already actuated. Now, programming, I've seen a few different methods. We will start with the one in the ignition. Now, I have used this on Ford Explorers before. The Lincoln seemed to be a hit or miss model. This one is a fully loaded edition, comes with almost every option there is, except for pretty much a sunroof and the nicer wheel trim. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the key in the ignition and see if this method works. Fords will tell you, some of them you leave the driver door open, some of them you close the driver door. Regardless of procedure, is you're gonna cycle the ignition switch seven to 10 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Noticed my door locks did not lock or unlock. On my particular town car, that method did not work. We're gonna move on. Actually, we'll do it one more time with the door closed. I've had some Mercury Mountaineers that had to have the door closed for this procedure to work. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nothing happened. If this happens with you, let's go to the outside of the car. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter the six digit numerical key code Six, zero, seven, five, nine. That's actually, five. whatever, you know. And now we're gonna press one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and then six, zero, seven, five, nine. My locks should cycle. Now, six, zero, seven, five, nine. And one, two, and three, four. Six, zero, seven, five, nine six zero seven five nine again and then you'll press any button on your lock you'll notice the door lock cycled let's try unlock or locking lock unlock unlock again for the rear doors now this process may have a number different for me however the best method when i programmed it was you enter your code six zero seven five nine now we're going to press one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four enter your code again three four six zero seven five nine and then your lock cycled when your lock cycle like that that lets you know that you have officially programmed your new keyless entry so six zero seven five nine and it'll store the code so now you're all set to use your new keyless entry remote on your 95 Lincoln Town Car. I'm pretty sure this method will work for all the Lincoln Town Car series that use the shorter headlights, uh, the square, more tall headlights. I don't know if this is the same process. The remote needs to be from a 2002 or older Lincoln Town Car. This one is from a 2000, or Grand Marquis or Crown Victoria. This one is from a 2000 model Mercury Grand Marquis. And now we have functioning keyless entry. I hope this video helps you. I'm sorry that the, the keypad thing is a little tricky. The most important thing is to enter your code, 
press 1 to 2, 3 to 4, 1 to 2, 3 to 4. Enter your code again. As you're entering your code the second time, the door locks will probably start to cycle on the second or third digit of your code. As soon as that happens, finish your code and then press a button on your keypad. They'll probably, they should lock, use the lock feature so you can see them go down. Once they cycle down, they should uncycle and everything should unlock. Enter your key code again, three and four, and then wait. I've seen a few write-ups online about how to do this, and some people will tell me to use the one to two button and press and hold it for a few seconds until the door locks cycle. That did not work for me. Some people will tell you to press three and four and wait for the door locks to cycle. I even read one forum where it wanted me to hold one and two and nine and zero. However, it still wouldn't work. The only method that I found was to enter my code, press one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, enter my code again, and halfway through the second entering of my code was when my door locks began to cycle. Finished my code, press my button, bam. Keyless entry is programmed. Enter your code one more time. Your door locks will cycle through the factory. Uh, they'll lock and unlock through this keypad. And once that is done, and I'll show you the trunk one more time. Once again, I can't say for sure if this works on the older Lincolns with the taller headlights, but I know I think this generation is what, 95, 6, and 7? Trunk is your blue button twice. I got it right that time. One, two, and then we're going to lock the doors and the horn should honk. Unlock the doors. You press the button one time to unlock the driver door. Press it again to unlock your other three. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, you can go over here and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The button's at the bottom. If not, it's youtube.com forward slash msk95. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this helps you out. Now I'm going to go film some transmission issues on early 2000s model Honda Civics. Thanks for watching.